Hey everybody, I uh, just thought I'd go ahead and do a, a little mini review, a quick little review on my um, new bass that I got. I got it maybe, I don't know, about a month ago, I guess, roughly. It's the Ibanez GSRM 20B uh, Micro Bass. So I got it in weathered black, is what it's called. It's kind of like a matte finish. Um, the website actually kind of shows the wood grain in this, but this one doesn't really show the wood grain as much, so it looks a little different. But it's not the shiny black like the other one. Um, I originally got it, uh, let me see, I got it from AMS, American Musical Supply, and, um, I actually, they, they shipped it pretty, pretty quick, I had a hard time getting it, um, finding it anywhere else locally, I checked the Guitar Center, they didn't have it over there, they didn't have it in stock, and they know when they're going to get it, some local places didn't have it in stock either, and they weren't going to get it till next year, so I was able to find, uh, on the AMS site, that they had it in stock, and they actually had this one in stock, this color, which I actually like this one. Uh, I was actually preferred this one over some of the other ones. And um, they were able to actually ship it within, uh, what, two days. They did like an express two-day shipping, no extra charge, and um, it was free shipping. And I live in Oregon, so I had no tax. So basically it was like just 100, I think $179 out the door, something like that. It was pretty cheap. So, uh, been a really good guitar. Um, so when I got it from AMS, they shipped it to me in a double box. Um, got the big rectangular box and then a the little wedge box, normal guitar wedge box everybody sees. So um, they shipped it in that. It uh, came good, no no issues. The only uh, problem with it was it was not set up at all, completely unset up. Uh, the neck was uh, bowed back, strings completely against the fretboard. Um, so uh, I had to test out some of my uh, guitar luthier skills, which I don't have any. Uh, just been learning how to do them. So I actually had to uh, adjust the truss rod, uh, which uh, was interesting. Just had to loosen it up and saw some videos on YouTube for that, which was pretty good. Um, that helped out. And then I also uh, had to adjust the action, which was pretty easy, and the intonation, which was pretty easy also. So. Um, it wasn't too bad. I was able to get it into a playing condition and um, I made tweak it here and there a few more times just to kind of get it right. But it was actually good practice for my, uh, you know, guitar setup skills because I'm used to just working on regular electric guitars and I, I've just done intonation and things like that. I've never adjusted a truss, truss rod before in my life. So something new for me, uh, a little nervous about doing it for the first time, but it wasn't bad. Just tiny bits, tiny movements at a time, you know, tiny turns a little bit on the, uh, on the truss rod uh, uh, bolt in there, so not bad. Um, so anyways, so again, matte black finish. Uh, the neck is really thin, very uh, nice neck, has like that satin finish where it's kind of like an unfinished feeling. That looks like, I don't know if you can see it there. Um, okay, and then, uh, so it's 22 frets and it is poplar body. Um, and maple neck, and it has a Jatoba fretboard, I guess instead of the rosewood. I've never had one with a Jatoba any, uh, before. I've always had the rosewood, and um, to be honest with you, I mean, it doesn't, I can't really tell the difference that much with it, so. Um, but it's been, been a really good guitar, um, and uh, really easy to play, especially since I'm not a bass player, I'm more of a guitar player, and um, I just wanted to get something that was, easier to handle, more like a guitar, so I saw these short scale basses, and um, I thought that would be a really good, you know, fit for me, and also if my son wants to learn how to play too, it's easier for him, it's easy for small hands, and also if you're, you know, small in size too, it's a perfect fit. Just to give you an idea on size, here is my acoustic guitar, a six string acoustic, right, against the size of this, and the neck, length is pretty, I don't know if you can see it that well in here, let me see, not a good angle, but it's, it's a lot smaller than it, the neck uh, scale is almost the same too. So anyways, um, so the way the controls are, I guess, uh, let me see here, so the, this is the, oops here, let me see, let me move this out of the way, there's the tone, there's the volume for the bridge pickups, and then here's the volume for the uh, neck pickups, so um, I'm not a bass player, so I'm just gonna, I'll go and give you a little bit of a sample of it, but um, definitely not a bass player. I'll just kind of noodle around a little bit. Uh, I've been kind of learning, but anyways, so I'm using, um, just to let you know, I'm using a Legato wireless system. It's, this is the 
inexpensive one for 30 bucks. It's the WS10. And then I'm going through, actually not even a base amp, I'm going through my Blackstar ID Core 40 V2 amp. And it's gotta sit on a clean setting and just kind of tweak the settings a little bit so the uh, so it wasn't so high, I guess. I guess some people are saying that um, you can damage a bass sometimes, or damage an amp with a bass, uh, unless you adjust it down and don't try to crank it up. But I don't know, I don't wanna go buy a bass amp um, I got you know, a couple guitar amps, I'll just use that and play around with that. And also I use this through bias effects too, which also has some bi uh, bass amp settings in there. So anyways, um, so here um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have both volumes up and the tones up. And so the, uh, both, both uh, the neck pickup and the neck pickup and the bridge pickup are on. So I'll go ahead and just kind of tinker around and play something for you. So here, here's how it sounds. So now I'll go ahead and just go just the neck pickup. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this one here and I'll just have the neck pickup all the way up. So I'll play the same thing. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and turn the volume on that one off and turn up the volume on just the bridge pickup. has a little bit of different sound so it's pretty pretty good i mean you can kind of tweak it around a little bit and get some different tones with it and um i don't know um one thing i want to mention though when i first got it uh me not knowing the bass guitars i know they have a lot more tension on the neck because the strings are you know thicker and everything like that when i was test trying to uh tune it when i first got it i didn't realize how bad and how out of set it was and so I was trying to tune it up and then I realized it wasn't set up after I snapped my string and actually after I saw the strings were getting any higher up the neck. So kind of a rookie move on that part. But um, at the same time, um, I had to go buy new uh, bass strings. And from what I understand with these uh, short scale basses, you need short scale bass strings. Now I don't know if that's a mandatory thing or not. From what I understand, people are saying you need them or you should have them. Um, if you use regular standard size uh, strings, you might have issues. I know some people are saying you can cut them down and uh, I don't know if you strip them or do something to them so you can make them use them on the short bass. I imagine it would work, but I don't know. I'm not a bass player and I've never done it before. So anyway, so to make a long story short, I ended up having to go hunt down some uh, short scale bass strings. I just wanted to get the right ones from the get go just so I didn't mess up anything. So I looked on Guitar Center. Guitar Center didn't have, uh, well, they said they had them. I went down the store and um, they said they had them online. I went down to the store and they didn't have them. They said they only carry them online, not in the store. So um, I hunted around a local place by my house and I was able to find some over there. Uh, they had a couple packs, I spot two packs just to hold me. I know that bass strings last a long time from what I understand. So uh, I'm good now for quite a while. I don't imagine having to change these for you know, a long time, but um, it's, it's been a, a pretty pretty good guitar, you know, because it is my first ever bass I've ever owned. I've tinkered around with basses a long time ago, but um, don't know much about, you know, too much about them necessarily, but um, it's, it's, it feels very similar to my, my guitar that I have, or my other guitars, you know, Kramer Beretta Special and some and Ibanez, and RG470, and a couple other guitars, old vintage Kramer ones too. Um, feels very close to, uh, you know, as, as far as size wise when you play so it's very comfortable and um not not too bad i know some of the bases the regular bases have the really long necks and long scales so you're really reaching up here and trying to you know play some of these and i just don't want to have to fight that i just wanted something smaller that i can kind of tinker around with and just get some you know some bass added to some maybe some music and stuff just messing around using reaper and things like that but anyways um so if you get anybody's got any questions about you know the guitar, or about my Lakato wireless system I got, or my ID Core 40 amp, you know, feel free to shoot me a comment or anything like that. I'll try to answer to my best capability, and um, hopefully, anyways, hopefully th this might have helped somebody if they're on the fence about buying a guitar or anything else. So, uh, you know, let me know if you uh, have any questions or comments, and I'll shoot a message back to you. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye bye.